Hey! Hey, Bash! 25th of July, 2018. Um, I just want to go over a couple of interpretations that I got um, regarding this stuff from the other day, the, the Orion spaceship at the White House and the, uh, the wall, the piece of the West Wall falling. Okay? Now, this right here, I mean, it came to me as clear as day um, that this represents a house divided. And when you watch this stone fall out of this wall and smash in dead center of this platform here, okay, this platform is used for egalitarian worship and there's a ton of division amongst the different, uh, you know, sections of Jews. I mean, there's a lot of contention with the West Wall big time and this is a divided house even amongst those of the Jews the Israelites whatever you will call them there's a lot of division amongst them as to how this area should be used and it falls smack dab in the middle of this representation of the house divided and it will not stand that's what that represents so Hear, hear those words. I mean, you need to seek him and him only. Uh, the whole Orion thing is totally representative of Nimrod, the Tower of Babel, and how that's represented in plain view is the direct opposite of what is really being done in the dark. Okay? This represents, through all this, without you know, really getting too uh, critical here. It's a lie. It's a hoax. It's a complete and utter sham and a show. That's what all this rocket to Mars and rocket to the moon and all this stuff is. But it's literally representing in plain view what they're doing in the dark, hidden. They're conjuring and they are summoning and creating the technology and the wherewithal through satanic ritual, uh, spirit cooking, all these various ways that, that they've, they've come to understand through their worship of the idols that they can, in fact, build these machines that will do precisely what Nimrod intended to do with the Tower of Babel. Okay, and that is to ascend to the heavens and become God. More or less, that's what it means. Okay, when we look at Orion in the Bible, we can take several different approaches, but if we look at Job 38 31, which adds up to 69, incidentally, he's asking Job, can, can you bind the sweet influence of the Pleiades or loose the bands of Orion? The Pleiades represent the seven stars, the seven angels of the seven churches, okay? The sweet influences. The bands of Orion represent bands, as in a cord, as in to loose them, to set free, to set free the bands of Orion. Orion is imprisoned there. Nimrod is held there. He failed, and now he is where God placed him, in bands, okay? So, when you look at it from that regard, they're trying to shoot these rockets up to space, okay? That's what these things represent, but, you know, they, they explain it themselves. It's, it's the Orion, Nimrod, is NASA's hope for deep space human travel, and all that saying is, Nimrod is Satan's hope to ascend to God and defeat him. That's what it's saying. This is, this is the, the both sides being revealed to us here. How God is working and showing us what's going on. And how Satan is working through the elements of NASA and the lusts and temptations of man to get them to do these types of things and to lie the people who worship idols themselves because they believe a lie and the space thing is going to be used to create a grand illusion a super delusion and 
this little incident the other day, uh, the three hours of darkness when it should have been light, literally shows that. And what, what I'm being given is that this actually represented what God wanted it to represent. However, it was brought about by man. They have apparatus and technology that they can block out the sun. However, when they were doing their little test run here, I believe that God intervened and caused it to last three hours. Incidentally, the three hours from the sixth hour to the ninth hour, that time of day, you understand, on a Friday. So, these things are not an accident. This was God, but it was God over the influences of Satan, so that those who are looking and seeking through his word, through prayer, and through the Holy Spirit, the only way for truth, he's showing us what is upon us and what these dark powers and principalities are doing at the same time. But the NASA, the Orion, that is literally just showing you on the outside a shadow, if you will, of what they're doing in the dark through the means of CERN and D-Wave and the AI. Okay? And speaking of AI, I didn't mean to go in this right now, but I think I kind of have to if I can find it. Yeah, it's over here. This came about yesterday that those guys that read it, I mean, you got to give it to these guys, right? But apparently, someone entered the word dog into a translator 22 times. Now, mind you, you can turn dog around and you have little G God. So what's really interesting about this is the fact that they entered this in 22 times. The number of letters and symbols in the Hebrew alphabet. The Alpha Omega, the beginning to the end. Okay, Just had to be 22 times and it had to be God backwards. Which is just super interesting when you think about it. But I believe what this little AI spit out may very well be a direct and blunt, honest assumption. <laughs> I'm just telling you, this is, this is what's going on. It, it literally is. And it's telling us about how the Antichrist will soon appear. <laughs> if you reduce the number of times you type dog as several as Reddit users, instead of, if this is just crazy, guys, okay? Instead of talking about the return of Jesus, Google Translate instead delivers a message about how the Antichrist will soon appear. <laughs> a tweak to the original message, okay? It's unbelievable, you guys. But, you know, there it is. This is, this is all Satan's devices, that God laughs at, and he actually uses Satan's little childish devices to show those who are seeking his face the truth. So that's what we see, okay? So the truth of the matter is, is they're trying to reach the heavens and loose the bands of Orion, Nimrod, and bring him back in as their king. But they don't know that. See, and when I say they, I just mean the vast number of people who are working on all of these various technologies because they get paid a lot of money and they get to have a lot of really nice, shiny, pretty things, okay? A lot of comfort and, and fleshly lusts fulfilled. That's what drives them along. They don't care that they're trying to bring Nimrod back into this physical, natural world. Which, believe me, you don't want. But nonetheless, that's what they're doing. So you need to be diligent when you're seeking the truth. And you need to understand that it only comes through the Word of God and the Holy Spirit. This is more stuff that I want to talk to you guys about later. The big stuff, man. Pilates, the seven stars. In his hand were seven stars, seven candlesticks. Seven stars represent the angels of the seven churches. He is talking to us. 
those of us in the churches, if you are lukewarm, please turn that knob to the right and let's get some zeal back into you because the time is upon us. Very close. And I will have to come back later and share with you more of this stuff because it is unbelievable. I mean, look even the image they use. All right, I'm going to shut up. I got to go. I will be back later. I hope this makes sense and blesses you. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,